It's time for another Meet the Candidate segment. Today, a reminder that the people running are not all Democrats. Yahoo Finance says Rick Newman recently sat down with the former governor of Massachusetts Republican, Bill Weld, who is running. Rick? Did you guys know he's running? I did, because I saw um, the Republican debate parts of it on... Um, mm. No, I didn't watch it live, but oh, I watched the Dem it. debate. Dem no, the Republican debate that was on Business Insider no, right. that was there, on there like was the Colbert one. No, Show or John Oliver, no. one of those late night comedians. Yeah, there are I know because I'm from Massachusetts. Yeah. yeah, well, there are three guys not named Trump who are running for president as Republicans. It's Bill Weld, Mark Sanford, and Joe Walsh, and they kind of call themselves the Three Stooges. Uh, anyway, Bill Weld came by and we talked with him. Here's why he said he's running for president. There's a lot of things I'd like to do in Washington, and I'd like the chance. And, uh, you know, I had two pretty good terms as governor, uh, and I think I could start Monday on the job. So tell us what you want to do in Washington. First thing I want to do is no more trillion-dollar deficits, and that's something I did uh, in a heartbeat when I was governor. And I was ranked the most fiscally conservative governor in the United States, despite succeeding Michael S. Dukakis as governor in Massachusetts. Hmm. Lower the deficit. What All kind right. of old timer even cares about that kind of stuff anymore? I mean, Responsible you, you really, spending. I don't really, know. <laughs> <laughs> you really don't hear any candidates talking about that. But I mean, at some point, this is going to matter. I mean, we just got the numbers for uh, for the last fiscal year: nine hundred and eighty-four billion dollar deficit. Crazy. Uh, it's gone up by like three hundred billion dollars over the last couple. I mean, we're in a good economy. The deficit should be going down. But of course, yeah. the Trump tax cut from twenty seventeen pushing it the other direction. Do you think that Bill Weld thinks that he has any shot at winning? I asked him, you know, I, I know, I, cause I know when I come on the show, you're gonna ask me, <laughs> why are all these guys running when only, you know, four or five of them have a chance? Um, you know what he's kind of thinking is, so he is a strong advocate of impeaching Trump and booting Trump from office. Now, obviously that would benefit him personally. He has a stake in that, but um, you know, there is a small chance that could happen. So uh, there, it's not 100% uh, guaranteed that Trump is going to be the Republican nominee. So if it's not Trump, I mean, if Trump is not there, theoretically, I guess it would be Mike Pence. Uh, you know, Mike Pence would become the president, but Pence would be a kind of a weak uh, front runner. Uh, yeah. So, so maybe you know there is a, a sort of a shot that somebody could. Sneak I mean, in. to extrapolate from this, though, yeah, Bill Wall might not win, not, might not the other of the two Stooges. But right. I'm wondering, what does it tell you though about the possible base of Republican voters that are maybe disenchanted or disenfranchised by the Trump administration so far? I, I, I mean, I don't think that Bill Weld is going to get a lot of those votes. I mean, that's not really the kind of candidate he is. He's not going for the Trumps, for the Trump, uh, the Trump voter, which is like a Tea Party voter. I mean, he was a centrist uh, Republican. He's a socially liberal uh, Republican, which is why he was able to get elected as governor of Massachusetts, generally a Democratic state. Dan's home state, you can attest to that, right? Romney, too. Yeah, Romney. But that Romney was also a relatively centrist uh, Republican, fairly liberal on social issues. So that's who Bill Weld is. Um, he's different from Trump in many ways. That's just one of them. All right. Well, we'll see if Bill Weld has a chance. And viewers, you can watch Rick's full interview with Governor Bill Weld he's on YahooFinance.com. He's got oh, some good all ideas. All right. All right. You hear it or here first. Hey, investors. Zach Guzman here. Are you interested in learning more about the markets and getting the latest financial news? Well, then click right here to subscribe to our Yahoo Finance YouTube channel. Get the latest up-to-the-minute market analysis, big interviews in the world of finance, and information on how to manage your money every day wherever you are.